Guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. I have a here amazing, great, handsome patient. Bro, before I start with questions and everything, people is asking me, is this guy really 50 years? <laughs> so please, can you make that point sure? I am so <laughs> 50 years old. I'm an old man, I'm 50 years old, so old. Yeah, I'm 50. What is the secret, man? You look like 25. I don't know. Lots of sleep. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Just be happy. Okay. It makes you young. Okay. Yeah. You're always positive guy? Always positive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Just be happy. Life is short, so be happy. That's true. Life is short. Just be happy. That's really true. But guys, I'm really shocked as always. But your change, it's huge, bro. It's really it's worth it. I mean, it's... it's, it's it's insane, it's amazing. So yeah. now we have here the old Eric. He's a Turkish citizen, by the way, from now. <laughs> <laughs> I will give him Turkish passport. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, bro, first of all, how do you feel? I mean, it, it, it's not even real yet. Like, I walk around, I'm the tallest person here. So <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so I walk around and I was brushing my teeth and the mirror stops right here. So I'm too tall for the bathroom. <laughs> So I brush my teeth like this. It's amazing. It's awesome. Okay. Yeah, and my okay. feet hang off the edge of the bed. Yeah. It's also amazing, right? I was like, oh, that's great. Yeah. What do you think about your proportion? I mean, yeah, I love it. I'm so happy. I okay. couldn't be more happy. Everything, the change, it changed my legs and mm. it changed my heart. So oh. I'm so happy. So just uh, for information for a patient who's looking the first time your journey, what was your height before the surgery? And yeah. what is your height uh, after the quadrilateral is done? Yeah, 167. And now I'm 178.5. Well, almost 179. Wow. Yeah. In, in inches is how much? Yeah, I was 5'6". Okay. It's like 5'6". Okay. And now I'm almost 5'11". Oh my God. Yeah. Now I'm going to become a bully and just <laughs> This is really crazy because to, to get taller, it's, it's really amazing. Just before I ask you what will change in your life, bro, you know, people are sometimes asking, hey, it's really worth it because of a few centimeters or inches. Yeah. So just, I will show you something from, from me. Uh, my, my case, at the first time, please also publish it. So I had, for example, my old pictures before my aesthetic surgeries also. So for example, that was one of the important pictures with my wife. Wow. So look oh, at this. Look you're at a this, baby. Bro. Yes. Baby Sadat. Yeah, baby Sadat. <laughs> look, my wife was taller than me. Oh. And she always was asking me and people who make picture of us, why you never smile? Hey, my wife is like my a good friend. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. She's staying like that. She's a little bit taller than me, even not we are in the same uh, height. I don't have a reason to smile because to make this kind of pictures for me was really uh, horrible. Bro, I will show you a picture after all my three limb lengthening surgeries. Look at this. So, Wow. Look, she has high heels yeah. and I'm taller than her. And look how confident she feels. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say, it's not only a few centimeters or inches. It's yeah. a whole life. Yeah. It's everything. I feel different than before. It changed my mind, everything. It's not yeah. only the inches what I gain. So my yeah. question to you, what exactly will change in your life from now? It's interesting because when you're taller, you're treated different. You know, you get respect and they shake your hand. And in business, it's so yeah. important. You know, the little guy has to be funny. Yeah. The tall guy gets respect automatically. Wow. So it makes a big difference, yeah. So I'm, I'm excited. I mean, you know, I'm, I won't change everything, but it would be nice to just walk tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. true, that's yeah. true. But also about the quadrilateral. Quadrilateral, Eric, is normally the, not the healthier way, but not normally the right way to do the lengthening in terms of the biomechanic, because femur and tibia will be natural, muscle balance for sure, proportion, and also, for example, some people wanna reach the maximum on the femur, uh, but to, to split the lengthening, like not the maximum like that, yeah. in terms of the muscle adaptation and bone healing, it's better to split the lengthening than to do the maximum everything on the femur. Right. So, and uh, the quadrilateral, what you choose also is the right, the better way for especially this kind of surgeries. I mean, 10 centimeter femur max or to split it, I think my opinion and also from surgeons, doctors, is to split the lengthening is much better than to gain everything on the upper legs. Yeah, I agree. Thank you, bro. Let's talk a little bit about the journey. 
yeah. you choose the quadrilateral antennae, yeah. which means the femur and tibia at the same time, which is really popular. It's also logic for people you know, who want to save the time and also finish with everything in once, not uh, come back for the second surgery. First of all, do you recommend the quadrilateral antennae surgery? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Before we talk about my surgery, I want to talk about the most valuable thing I've learned while I'm here. Okay. So I've been here you know, almost 100 days. And the most valuable thing is, first compliment to you, a huge compliment. You have assembled everything you need for if there's a problem or if there's questions or if you don't understand. You have medicine, you have nurses, you have nutrition, you have the most talented physio team in the entire world. Really appreciate it. They really, every person here has put their heart into making sure that you are heard and that you're, if you don't understand, they're listening. Much respect to you, Sadat, because the team you have assembled is invaluable. Without the people, you, really it, appreciate it. you know, I hear people all the time on Instagram say, oh, I'm going to this place, I'm going, you can go to America, and you can go Thailand, and you can go, you know, Germany. You can get the surgery anywhere, but you cannot get the team you have created, Sadat. You're a genius. I really appreciate it. You know, the food, there's food for you anytime yeah. you're hungry. There's, food, there's a cafeteria that will help you recover, and it's nutrition, and you won't gain weight. You'll feel healthy. Uh, I lost 11 kilograms, <laughs> so okay. I feel great. Okay. But the, every person here, the cleaning people, there's people come to your room and make sure that you're okay. They check on you all day long. You know, it's nice because I'm in a strange country, I don't have any family here. Yeah. So these people that came to check on me became my family. They sincerely, genuinely were worried about me. You know, are you okay? Are you feeling, how are you today? And you know, the physio team, without the physio team you have trained, I, I would not do the surgery. If you didn't have the people that you have assembled, you know, I would not have wanted to do this. I don't want to go to a country and get the surgery and come home. I don't know how people do that. But here, there was anything I needed you know, Dr. Halil, he's a genius. And his heart is so into, you know, every time he spoke to me, I wasn't a patient. He was genuinely concerned about me. And so that was, I would pay for that. That was the best part. You're a genius for the people you have put together. That is, I cannot sing the praises enough. It's so nice. You know, I never felt like a number. I never felt like, you know, give me your check. Mm -hmm. I felt like these are people who want me to succeed and they you know, understand why I'm here. Mm. It was great. That is the best part. If I can say anything to you at home who are considering where should I go and you know, the money and all that, the people here make the difference. Physio, medicine. I was lucky. My physio was Ennis, yeah, and he's yeah. hilarious, <laughs> so funny. And so yeah. on days when I didn't feel, you know, maybe my mood wasn't so good, yeah. Ennis was there to make me feel better, my body, you know, my... my surgery recovery so he was smart and he was educated so he knew exactly what to do to fix my problem and he was also very funny so i'd pay extra for the funny yeah. <laughs> so compliments to you Sadat. i really appreciate you're a genius it. Thank you. compliments thank you. to you thank you thank you well for done. the nice words i'm yeah. so happy to hear that yeah everybody gets raises yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much i'm okay. so so happy also to can you know the reason can also a part a little bit part in your life to change change oh, your yeah. life, I, a reason, you I know. I will never forget these people. The mm -hmm. kindness, yeah. you know, I've been in hospital in America, yeah. and I don't know about kindness, yeah. but the kindness I saw here, you know, it, it touches your heart. You really know, these are good that. people. I forever want to know what happens to the people that work here. It's good you. people, good people, you I, included. I really appreciate it. I stopped myself to not cry, you know, because thank you for your words. <laughs> you are a great guy. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I have to say that for any of you at home, you know, please consider the support team as important as the surgery. And this support team, world class. Five really stars. Appreciate it. Ten stars. Eric, why you choose the quadrilateral lengthening surgery? For me, the quadrilateral, because I, I want the most and uh, I had the least amount of time. You know, I, I have a job. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't take three months and three months and I can't, mm -hmm. you know, I can't come back. Mm -hmm. So I had one chance mm -hmm. to get everything done. Mm -hmm. And also the precise, uh, you know, because I sleep on my side. Mm, okay. So I wanted to be comfortable while I was doing my lengthening. What was the journey? Uh, it was fast. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. It went by <laughs> so fast. Yeah, it was so fast. I, uh, 
Uh, the view uh, uh -huh. from my room, I, every mm. morning I woke up to the bay. Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's surgery. Yeah, so there's, sure. there's things yeah. that happen. Mm. But for the most part, it was beautiful view, good people, great food. Yeah. I mean, what could I ask yeah. for? What was missing? Yeah. You know, you. Maybe you. maybe pat on the head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, by the way, you sent me the picture of the, uh, the great view, you know? Yeah. And I thought, okay, it's a picture of Pinterest or Google. Yeah, yeah. And I was shocked, hey, it's from our room. It was really nice, yeah, by the way. It's beautiful here. I show my wife and she said, wow, it's like, you know, yeah. it's a Photoshop. Yeah. But it's amazing. It's no, amazing. it's a view from my room. Yeah. It was the yeah. bay and the yeah. beautiful sunset. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't get to go into Turkey too much because I couldn't walk. But the view was beautiful. Yeah. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah. I'm so happy. Was the journey, Eric, with your heart or what was the pain? So like, I mean, so, how patients can imagine that? So, you know, it's work. Yeah. This is work. Yeah. But for, you know, for any successful people who have a goal, mm -hmm. you understand you're going to work to get a goal. Nobody gets um, the end, end result mm -hmm. without putting in the work. So I will say, you know, I am now very disciplined. Food, workout, food, gym, food. So now I, um, you know, I, I recognize the things that are important for my body. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't put mm -hmm. trash in my body. Mm -hmm. and No soda. Thank you, Meltem. <laughs> no sugar. Thank yeah. you, Melzo. Yeah. You know, I, I have learned what my body, you know, needs to survive and what. Um, but yeah, I, I've learned lessons here that I'll take for the rest of my life. And also, I'm proud of me. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, that's really yeah. That, you can say yeah, that, bro. Definitely. I'm proud of me. This was this was work, and you know, every day I got up and I, you know, I cleaned myself and I did what I had to do to reach my goal. I was super focused. Yeah. People would say hi and I'd be like, don't talk to me, I have to focus. <laughs> so. I like it. <laughs> it was really good. Yeah. Eric, I see sometimes comments, YouTube channels, uh, people is, is, is writing like, oh, why people is doing limb lighting surgery? I think it's a pressure from the people uh, outside, you know, uh, because they have to change his body and everything. What do you think about that topic? Is that really a pressure yeah. or should you accept yourself like, that or what that's a good question yeah. because when I go home, I'm sure I'm going to be uh -huh. asked, you know, you were good before, you know, you were nice. So if you are on a mission, only certain people understand that you have a goal. Only people also on a mission will understand you have goal, they have goal. People who um, don't have a passion will not understand. So I, I don't need to under, to mm -hmm. explain. Sure. You know what I mean? I, uh, you know, I talk to other people. For example, I'm so happy that there's a gathering space here in the building because I met people from all over the world and they were like me. They had goals and they had passion. You know, when I said this is a goal for me, they understood. So find people like you to talk to. Find people who have goals. You know, um, if your family says, oh, this is not so good for you or whatever, you find people who have goals like you do and you talk to them because they will understand. But when you meet somebody, oh, it's, it's, you know, no, it's a waste of money. You find the different people who have focus and, and talk to them. Yeah, only, only certain people's opinions matter, right? Mine, sure, mostly. Exactly. And then people who are like me. I did my nose, beard transplant, a liposuction, also a lot of things. And I'm really happy uh, because I changed my life. And I wish also to everybody if someone complains about, you know, something uh, to change it. But for me, it's important as a, as a patient who did the quadrilateral, what is your recommendation to patients who's watching this video or who also want to do the quadrilateral or in general limb lengthening surgery? What you can recommend to this patients? Put yourself first. If this is a goal for you, if this is important to you, do it. You go make it a priority. If you need to save money, if you need to work on your body. As a matter of fact, I think I wish I would have done more of that. Mm -hmm. I wish I was more flexible. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I've learned now about being more healthy with my food. So do that if you can at home. But don't wait. Don't wait. If you want to be taller, go for it. Go for it right now. Call, call, call and schedule right now. <laughs> it was a really nice, nice video with you. Thank you for answering my questions. And I'm really, really happy. You look so amazing, by the way. So, I mean, it's crazy. We say in German, you know, Eric, we say in German, you can talk a lot of, I mean, like one hour to me. But sometimes if you show a picture, it says more than a thousand words. A thousand words, yeah. Exactly. And yeah. when I look at your picture, I mean, it's, uh, it's really a dream. It's crazy. 
which is not achievable nor before, you know, for me, but it's really crazy. I mean, two different peoples here. Uh, on the right picture, you look more natural than the left. I mean, your whole body proportion change. Your upper body, your torso looks even better than before. <laughs> Everything. I mean, this guy was nice, but this guy is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the, the hard to understand is this is forever. I'm going to be tall forever. Exactly. Like I did three short months. Yeah. And now forever, I yeah. need a bigger casket when I die. Yeah. So that's I need true. bigger coffin. That's true. That's That's very that's really true. <laughs> that's also you can proud of yourself. Yeah. You know. But, you know, Eric, my, my wife, we was talking. She says, Serhat, are you sure you want to do limb lantern? I say yes. But she asked me, what happened if you die because of anesthesia and everything? You know, she's like uh, reading some comments in Google. I say, babe. If I die, I will be proud of myself because I die because of my uh, dreams and goals. Yeah. So I can be proud of myself. Yeah. It's not a problem because I don't want to uh, live my life like a short man. I want to change it because I know that I can change it. Yeah. And I cannot live the, with that feeling. I cannot go to gym with that feeling. I cannot drive car with that uh, feeling. It was never, I was never going to any uh, festivals or, you know, organizations because it was for me a big problem and I'm so happy and proud of myself to change it. Yes, and uh, I remember my words. It was really uh, something um, good. Eric, I uh, have to say thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I'm so, so happy to meet you, by the way. Thank you. It was a pleasure yeah. and for the whole team. Yeah. You are a really gentleman and uh, guys, he's really amazing. Also, I have to say uh, one thing. I mean, we have, we are doing some different jobs. We have 40 international patients from everywhere. Sometimes you cannot make people happy, you know, because everybody's different. But at the end, this is a journey, for example, for patients. For some patients, is that an easy journey? It's like that. For some patients, is that a real fight? But I can say only one thing, guys. Of course, nothing is easy, but at the end, all our patients is really happy. Yeah, yeah. Even I regret why I did not, uh, why I not did the surgery with 20 years, but I think it's never too late for sure. But all our patients at the end happy because it's a life changing. And I'm also happy to see your smile and to yeah. see you happy as well. For me it was like that, for example, it was really hard. I always was complain about that and uh, fighting with my wife <laughs> because she was my nurse, my physiotherapist. Thank you for your trust. Yeah. Thank you that you trust your life in us, brother. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Thank you for compliments, for your nice words. Yeah. And if I can say anything. Yeah. So if you want a new car and you go to work every day to save money, yeah. oh, I hate working. I hate working. Yeah. It's okay to complain. Yeah. But when you get the new car, yeah. it was fine. It was worth it. That's it true. That's true. Same bro. thing. It was like, yeah. oh, legs. Oh, so. And then when you get the legs, you're yeah. like, oh, it's fine. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. Same yeah. thing. That was a per perfect example, by the way. This is really the same thing. Yeah. Because you have to fight for everything, for every dreams. I mean, nothing is easy. Even you have to fight for your wife or woman sometimes. There you can appreciate the, the relationship. Yes. Thank you, brother. Take care. God bless you. Thank you. Enjoy your new height and your new life. And yeah. I'm so happy to see the videos. Guys, just one more thing. Yes, Eric is finished since two weeks or how long you? Three weeks. Three Stop weeks, lighting. yes. Yeah. And everything is for sure right now stiff. Uh, he cannot stay straight. And you don't have ballerine syndrome. That's really, really good. Yes, but everything is stiff because everything is new. He needs time for recovery because people is sometimes thinking like, okay, he get taller, but he will be like that for uh, the rest of, his, of your life. <laughs> it's not like that. He will be able to jump, to run, to sprint as before, just 11.5 centimeter taller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank you, my friend. So, but of course, he is not a machine. He is not a car or something like that okay this defect let's fix it it's a human body and the only medication for every problem is time and you need time so i'm really excited to see your recovery videos bro and then i will post it and be proud of myself yeah. by the way eric also he has an instagram uh, page please follow this guy he's really amazing and bro post also more oh, yeah, more on your on. upper body yeah, and yeah, six yeah, packs yeah, yeah. because yeah, yeah because <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> don't ask about my six pack <laughs> okay, I have also a good resource of the blend planting. yeah it was free you just have to eat <laughs> yeah Meltem gave it to me <laughs> free liposuction free six pack you have six pack I have six fat <laughs> no I don't have fat but uh, I don't have the six pack like you bro yeah. but you are really amazing and I hope to see you like in 
I don't know, what is the name, whole modern walking back? Catwalk. Cat no, not yeah. catwalk, like this, this walking batch. batch. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> I hope I see you famous, bro. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Greetings to United States from Istanbul. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for your patience and for the compliments and the words, bro. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And take care, bro. All right. See you guys. Call me a girl.